No, my hope, my hope plan is ruined. Okay, let's yeah, hope this is open. <laughs> oh, it's open. Okay, guys, so we went to KFC, but um, they didn't have enough employees, so we're at Pizza Hut, and we ordered the honey barbecue chicken wings and the well, buffalo mild. 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 medium. Medium. Yeah, the mm -hmm. medium. So, yeah. I'm listening. And I also got boneless wings. Yeah, I don't think so. Here, I'll just like chop it up and like blend it. Good <laughs> <laughs> job. Try to get it. Guys, this is our specimen. Hey, Yoli, why are you cutting your wing? <laughs> Can't bite it. Why? <laughs> My teeth. She got her molars out. Hey, this is actually a pretty good chicken bone specimen. Look at that. The flavor, the texturing. Mm, so good. Ooh, it's really hot. How's though. yours? Okay. Really? Look at this, y'all. It's really good. So, what exactly kind of reaction is going on between the wings and your stomach acids right now? A chemical one. Chemical one. This is No, no, no. No, no. 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 I You got a receipt? Dang. Okay, wait, how much is that? Too much. <laughs> like $40. That's a lot. Oh, thank you. <laughs> GoPro like Jolie, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is try to clean these bones off because somebody did not eat enough of that. Look how much meat is left on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to just scrub and wash because you want it to be real clean because you don't want any decaying meat in the vinegar. Um, I've got my vinegar right here, just white vinegar. And you're just going to pour just enough where it covers it over. A little excess because, you know, it just drown it. All right, guys, so I have proceeded to clean off the chicken bone. Um, I'm going to be putting it in a see-through glass. And we're going to be leaving it there for two to three days. Um, it can stay in there for over a week. I'd say the longer the better. So let's just go ahead and let it sit for a while. Okay, after removing the bone out of the jar, then you will rinse it. And then you want to dry it so it's perf perfectly dry. I'm going to demonstrate to you how it bent. <gasps> Y'all look at that. Oh my god, that's so cool. It bends. Like on the edges. Oh my god. Do y'all see that? The vinegar and the bone? That's pretty cool. Okay, so if y'all didn't know, bones are made of calcium and this and this soft material called collagen. When the chicken bone was placed in a glass of vinegar, the acid in the vinegar dissolved in the calcium carbonate so that only the collagen was left. Likely to break. And soaking chicken bones in vinegar for several days leaves the bone soft and rubbery. The acid component of the vinegar that I used in this experiment uh, reacted with the calcium compounds in the bones, making the calcium um, soluble so that the water component of the vinegar can then dissolve the calcium from the bones, leaving the bones less rigid and able to bend. And I demonstrated that to y'all, and yeah. Dealing with the chicken bone and vinegar, you want to make sure you wash your hands and thank you for watching. Pizza <laughs> hurt.